Hello, I'm Vince White. Apparently have to find the camera. Apparently don't know how to do that after all these videos. Uh, I'm answering a question I received via message on Avo. It did, uh, it did specifically say that I could make a video about it. So here we go. <coughs> Hi, I wanted to ask you a question. I am coming off of FMLA leave, so family medical uh, leave time. And I don't want to go back to working at this job anymore. I need to know if my health insurance will be good to the end of the month or how it works. Okay, and then it goes on. There's there's an issue with a medication and topping up the medication before insurance goes out. There's some additional considerations. I, I don't want to share the specifics here. Um, so I can give you the generality of how insurance works. It doesn't always work this way, but like 90% of the time it does. And you can always check your policy or talk to HR about, uh, <coughs> pardon me, the uh, specifics of your policy. Although, obviously, when you're asking HR questions, um, it's important to keep in mind that HR is not your friend. HR exists to protect the employer. So generally speaking, you have um, an interval for your medical insurance, right? Like there's a day for renewal which is probably tied to the day that the policy began. So if it, uh, you know, like the 10th day of the month, if that's when your policy first began, then generally speaking, every 30 day period, um, it'll go end to end and uh, renew on that day. So if you hypothetically have your policy renew every month on the 10th, usually what we see is that if you then, if employment ends on say the 11th, the day after your renewal, Often, insurance continues until the next renewal interval. So it would usually, often, you know, not always, I cannot stress enough, not always, but usually continue until the last day, which would be the 10th or the 9th, depending on how the policy is written, of the uh, next month. Now, this is only partially useful because this is a usually based answer instead of an absolutely or always based answer but it's also the best I can do because I don't have access to your documents and my firm doesn't deal in benefits really uh, we deal with the disability discrimination which might be tied to benefits or we deal with you know workplace discrimination workplace sexual harassment and benefits might be an issue like cutting your benefits could be an act of retaliation or an act of discrimination uh, things of that nature but we don't usually um, deal with uh, you know a company not giving you the proper benefits things of that nature so we don't we don't often dig down into this but we do see benefits end and the cobra being offered and all of that so i hope although it was generalities i hope this is a valuable answer i hope this helps you in some way and i wish you the best of luck with everything uh, with your medication with your career and your health um, if this video helped, consider liking and subscribing. Definitely does help us to help more people just like you. And uh, I will check the comments on the video down below. Um, I do not often track the Avo messages, just a heads up, because the message notification system is kind of garbage on Avo. Um, whereas the YouTube message notification system for comments is really great and lets me get back to people. Although it is public, so that's not always ideal for everyone. Good luck to you. Take care.